Hi folks, Fred DeLaFaro here for the Fisherman Magazine with our weekly video fishing update. Fishing activity this past week took a turn for the better as some anglers took advantage of the first wave of trout stockings to hit local streams and ponds in both Nassau and Suffolk. The stockings were spiced with two-year-old brown trout ranging from 11 to 13 inches. There was also an uptick in striped bass activity for anglers soaking bloodworms up near Croton and Piedmont on the Hudson as well as for those tossing small swimming plugs and soft plastics around the Pelham Bridge in the far western sound. Flounder season kicks off on April 1, and if the mild weather forecast for the weekend carries into next week, there should be a fair amount of interest from winter-weary anglers looking to breathe some salt air and maybe score a few winter flatties. The last of the shows and fishing flea markets in our area is the Patchog Fishing Flea Market. It takes place this Saturday from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. at St. Joseph's College in Patchogue. Crazy Alberto Nye will be conducting a free seminar on targeting trophy fish from 11.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. As we have learned from past experience, when it comes to fisheries management and regulations, nothing is certain until it is in black and white. Case in point are changes in fluke and flounder regulations for the 2014 season. Following the most recent Atlantic States Marine Fisheries Commission meeting, when it was agreed that fluke would be managed on a regional basis for the first time rather than on a state-by-state -state basis, it seems certain that New York, Connecticut, and New Jersey would be looking at four fish at 18 inches and a season of 128 days with a likely start date of May 10th. The start and end dates of this season were to be decided by each individual state. What was not made clear at the ASMFC meeting was that because of a high catch rate during the Wave 3 period, which is May and June, the states that make up our region can only fish 45 days during that period. As a result, we are now looking at a season running from May 17th through September 21st. Following a review by the Technical Committee, it was also decided to allow states in our region a five-fish bag limit, an option currently being embraced by all three states. These most recent changes are likely to take effect in 2014, but the regulations are still in the rulemaking process and it is not inconceivable that they could change. Until officially announced by DEC, the current regs from 2013 remain in effect. Concerning winter flounder, a newspaper article last week erroneously printed that the season is now running from March 1st to December 31st. They misinterpreted an ASMFC ruling that allows states to set their season within those parameters, providing the bag limit remains at two fish, but the length of the season is to be decided by each individual state. New York is highly unlikely to embrace the March 1 to December 31st season, but at last week's Marine Resources Advisory Commission meeting, there was some interest in extending the season into June when anglers in several areas could benefit from the extension. There was also some sentiment to leave the season as it is, April 1 through May 30th. Any changes in the Flanders season must still go through the rulemaking process. Until then, Flanders season remains the same with a two-fish bag limit and a 12-inch size limit. Until next week, I'm Fred Golafaro wishing you good health and a successful 2014 season.